Hey, what's up, everybody? Hammerheart Metal Reviews here once again doing another classic album review for you today. And today we are talking about one of my favorite bands of all time, Enslaved, and their album Eld. It is celebrating its 25th anniversary. This album came out March 21st, 1997. I can't believe this is 25 years old already. This was Enslaved's third full-length album, the follow-up to the highly regarded album Frost. I do have a poster for this one right over there. I actually also have the CD. I always forget to pull out my actual CDs to show with these classic album reviews. But yeah, this one, definitely one of my favorites by them. I think it's one of their best. If you've never heard Enslaved before, somehow, they've gone through quite a few different eras with their sound. Their sound has progressed very much over time. But in their early days, they really played just a really nice blend of Viking and black metal. Later era, they've really become like a progressive black metal band not even so much like a black metal band there's still black metal influence in there but more of just a progressive metal band but back in the era when this album was released this is just very much epic viking metal with a lot of black metal going on in there as well but you could see the progression from their first album to even by the time Eld came out that they were getting away from that traditional black metal sound and bringing in some other influences and progressing towards something greater so this album, it's really got a warm atmosphere. I mean, the name of the album is Eld, which means fire. So bringing in a very fiery atmosphere as opposed to the album before Frost was very icy cold. This one is definitely more like fiery and hot. It's got really nice clean production on this album. You can hear everything going on. Um, this is seven tracks. It's just under an hour long. So definitely lengthy songs on here. A lot of epics. The lineup on here. Grudel Shelson, of course, on vocals and bass, been in Enslaved since the get-go. Him and Ivar Bjornsson, who does the guitar and keyboards and synths, just all the electronic sounds on here are done by Ivar. So those two guys have been in the band since the beginning. Started this band when they were very young. Um, on Frost, they did have Trim Torson on drums. He actually left before this album to go join Emperor. So they brought in one of their friends, Harold Helgeson, I think is how it's pronounced, to do drums. This is the only album he plays on, but he does a solid job. I love the drumming on this album. To me, this is an album with no weak moments, no weak songs. It is just solid from front to back. I feel like Enslaved was really ahead of the curve and weren't really just copying a lot of their peers in the Norwegian black metal scene. Like, yes, they were lumped in with a lot of those bands because they rose up to fame in the early to mid 90s. But these guys really brought in a lot more Viking themes and a lot more Viking elements into their music rather than just straight ahead black metal. You can still classify this as black metal, but it's not doing it enough justice. Like this isn't raw black metal. This has a lot of melody and a lot of like clean vocals that are reminiscent of vocal chants like Viking chants, I mean, and um, yeah, it's just, they're a totally different beast, and I find them to be one of the most interesting bands out there. I absolutely love this era of the band. It's probably my favorite era. I love all of their albums, but this is definitely one of my favorite, if not my favorite, and I think it's one of the best Viking metal albums ever. So anyways, I'll just get more into this. I'm going to do a track-by-track track run-through, and I'll give this an overall score out of 10 at the end. So the album kicks off in absolutely epic style with one of the longest songs, probably the longest song they've ever done. Actually, it's about 16 minutes long for an opener. That's crazy. 793 Slogget on Linda's Farm. Or the translation, 793, The Battle of Linda's Farm. This is just an absolutely epic Viking metal song, like one of the best out there. The first few minutes of this song are just like orchestral keyboards, just really building up a really great atmosphere for the song and for the album as a whole. Then some acoustic guitars come in, and this song's almost all clean song, actually. There is a little bit of screaming later on in the song, but really nice clean vocals by Grudel. Like, I wish over the course of their career, Grudel would have just stuck with the clean vocals. He does them again now, and he's done them on pretty much every album, at least backing. But back in this era, he was the only vocalist, and they were all the better for it. I absolutely love his vocals. He's one of my favorite vocalists, personally. Um, yeah, this one, the singing is just so reminiscent of old Vikings just chanting and singing glory like this is so triumphant it's got such an excellent build up throughout this song it doesn't feel 16 minutes long though even though it's a long track it just flies by and it's just an epic journey like i said truly one of the best epic viking metal songs ever and it's an absolutely stellar way to kick off this album so after that it does go into some more like straight ahead songwriting approach the second song is the shortest song on the album which is still around five minutes so it's not that short uh Hordalin 
Hordaland Dingjin. Probably mispr gonna mispronounce a lot of things here, but translation being the man from Hordaland. So this one's more fast, in your face, aggressive, like black metal-ish kind of song. Blasting drums throughout and uh, Grudel's vicious rasps, like they just sound so evil, but so awesome, like as vicious as ever. This is one of his shining moments as a vocalist. Throughout the whole career, Grudel is amazing. Like I can't praise this guy enough. Like I said, he's one of my favorite black metal vocalists, just one of my favorite metal vocalists. But yeah, they're really on display here. Just so sick and vicious and just awesome. And really throws in some nice clean vocals throughout this song too. Like throughout this whole album, he intersperses the harsh black metal vocals with some clean Viking chants and it just merges together so well to make an absolutely great listening experience. So after that the third song is Alpha Blot or Sacrifice to the Elves. Another just really awesome song. Excellent thrashy black metal riffing throughout and another one that's got a great mix of the raspy singing and the clean singing and it's just a perfect example of why Grudel is one of my favorite vocalists of all time. Like, just go listen to this song and you'll hear the contrast between his harsh screaming and his clean singing, and you'll know what I'm talking about. Like, he is one of the best in the game for sure. And this, I'm not taking anything away from the rest of the band either. The drums are really on point here, and Ivar Bjornsson's guitar playing is awesome. Like, the riffs on here are great, just really solid songs, and this one is no exception. So, up next, the middle song on the album is Kvasser's Blood or The Blood of Kvasser. This one is eight minutes long. It does start with a little bit of a slower pace. Then a really great scream comes in. It's got a really great build up, really epic in nature. Then after that, the pace does pick up and even has like a catchy clean sung chorus, which is just great. The song changes tempo quite a bit throughout and it's just a truly epic journey. Absolutely awesome. One of my favorite tracks on the album for sure. But then after that comes absolutely my favorite track on the album, not just my favorite song on Eld, but possibly my favorite Enslaved song ever, and I think it's a little bit of an underrated one, For Lange Seedin, or A Long Time Ago. So yeah, this is just another epic song. It is about eight minutes long. It starts out with like the sounds of chickens, and then there's some spoken word, just sounds like really kind of creepy and ominous. But then some nice like slow guitar comes in. It's a really slow build up, but it's got great riffs throughout the whole song. And then once the verse kicks in, it gets really fast and aggressive, but then it slows back down again. This song takes you just so many different directions. It's why it's one of my favorites by them ever. And even though none of these songs are in English, I've listened to this album so much, you can still sing along to it. Like it is still catchy, especially in this song. Jab, lie, the cough frog, Bob, Morgan. I'm probably mispronouncing some of that, so I apologize. Do my best, but I fucking love Forlenge Seedon, especially at the end he screams it too. Forlenge Seedon. Just epic as fuck. Sounds awesome. Absolutely love this song. And yeah, like I said, my favorite song on the album. But then after that, there's still two more tracks to go, and it does not let up. The sixth song is Glempt or Forgotten. This is an eight minute track. The drumming really shines on this. It's got some really great double kicks at the beginning of the song. It kind of starts just with like a bass note, like boom, and then the double kicks come in. It's a really aggressive track. It's layered with a lot of keyboards underneath too. It's built this really nice ambiance throughout the song. This is another one that's kind of got an epic feel to it. This whole album really has an epic feel to it. And there's a lot of great underlying melodies in this song as well. And closer to the end of this song, it's got a really nice clean sung part. But then it closes off by going back to harsh vocals. And it's just really great. Absolutely love this song too. And then it goes into the closing track, Eld. The title track from the album, which means fire. So this one is about six and a half minutes. Absolutely excellent closing song. The riffs are heavy and driving with just pounding drums and rasps throughout the whole first couple minutes. But then it does change pace a little bit. Slows down a little bit with some clean vocals. And just builds really nice into like this victorious Viking atmosphere with those clean vocals. It's just really great. Then it does speed up again towards the end of the song with this furious black metal explosion. Just absolutely epic way to end the album. So anyways, that's my track by track, track by track analysis. But overall, like Enslaved has had one of the most impressive careers out there for 
a Norwegian black metal band. Like I said, I wouldn't necessarily even classify them just as black metal. They probably don't want to be classified as black metal. One of the best Viking metal bands around, now a progressive metal band. But for me, this album is a true highlight of their very impressive career. Like I said, I don't think they have any weak moments. I have done an enslaved discography ranking quite a while ago, like probably almost, which is one of the first videos I did on this channel. So probably like eight or nine months ago. I'm pretty sure I had this one at number one and that's where it would stay. This is my favorite Enslaved album. I don't really have anything negative to say about this album at all. I think it absolutely slays front to back everything about this I love. I do feel like it's underrated in Enslaved's entire career. Like a lot of people when they're talking about best Enslaved albums, no one really talks about Eld. Maybe some people talk about Frost, but no one really talks about Eld. And I, it's a shame because I think this one is a step up from Frost. Not that I'm knocking Frost, I absolutely adore that album as well, but I think this is the pinnacle of their career. Now anyways, to score this out of 10, I was very tempted to give this 10 out of 10, but I, I'm trying not to give too many albums an absolutely perfect score. Maybe one thing would be the bass you can't necessarily hear all the time. I don't think that clouds any of the songs or anything like that, but just for that one tiny little like super picky thing, I'm gonna give this a very solid 9.7 out of 10. So if you've watched my channel, you know anything over nine for me is extremely good. I don't give too many albums over nine. So this being 9.7 is a close to perfect album. I absolutely adore this album so much. I'm getting carried away here, but anyways, give me your thoughts down below. Do you like this album as much as I do? What do you think of Enslaved in general? What's your favorite album by them? And give me a like, give me a subscribe, and until next time, Hammerheart Metal Reviews, out!